Stay to the end, please. Hey, Terra fans. Hi, Chris Anthony. This is Chad. But I assumed he was talking to me when he said up Terra fans. He did. So he he said, said, hi, Terra fans. I thought it was rude not to reply. Hi, Chris. Hi. Great progress we've had over the last month and a half. By the way, this guy's a great hugger. Yeah. We hugged him. Where did he Everybody hug us? knows that. Rather, you hug Chris or Chris hugs you, you're getting hugged. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, All right, let's keep going. It's late at night here in Michigan. Okay. Big after update. And I have a major announcement. Woohoo! Last month, we completed testing our beta vehicle at the Balauco Proving Grounds in Italy with Denise Engineering. Way this to go, beta. This testing was used to complete our final correlation of our virtual suspension model with Woo-hoo. how the suspension performs in real-world situations. Now, a lot of people don't even know that this vehicle exists. This is in uh, Italy. Now, we've seen a beta vehicle like this in Carlsbad, Indiana, but in probably... California. Yeah, where? <laughs> okay. But this has been in Italy really validating everything that's going to go on the production intent vehicle. This is the beta we saw in California. No, I don't think it is. But now it's in Italy. No, no, no. I think it's a different one. You think? I don't know. Ask we Chris. tested lateral and longitudinal dynamics, such as frequency mm. slip and harsh deceleration. You need both. Now that this testing is complete, beta is retired, and with this correlation complete, we now have the necessary tweaks to our final... That's a good question. So in the comments, if you know, did the beta go to Italy or was there a different beta in Italy? But I thought I knew, but they said beta is retired. It's retired now because it's done its job. Okay. So that was the Let's keep beta. watching. Let's keep watching. Everybody's excited okay. not to hear us, but to see this. Mm-hmm. Suspension geometry and have released our chassis and suspension for our PIs to be built. We don't have the first chassis on site yet, but we're making amazing progress in San Diego. The wiring harness team has recently completed initial cable routing for every component in the vehicle. Sweet. And we're receiving shipments of specific connectors and wires for our first drivable production vehicles as we speak. The electrical systems team is currently undergoing bench top verification and testing for the PI build components. The engineering team plans to complete the first PI milestones by the end of May. That way, when the chassis and the body structure That's arrive, this month. components can be installed right away. In the last update, we mentioned... You know, I shave every day, Chris, Anthony. Too much is going on for him to take the time to shave. Okay. He had to get this information out to us now. Okay. Seating and lighting suppliers. Well, this month, we've ordered the window... He said kicked off again, by the way. We were told that that would be uh, removed and we would go with... Green light. Green lighted. So we know who to blame for that. I'll make a phone call. We'll deal with it. Regulator assemblies... Wiper assemblies, washer assemblies, latches, horns, or speaker system, and a production glass, just to name a few. I know there's a lot that goes into building our production vehicle. Parts arriving daily, and we'll keep you updated on the big ticket items as they do. In the meantime, I thought it would be fun to meet some of the engineers making the Aptera a reality. Hello, my name is Manny. I'm a firmware engineer here at Aptera. Hi, my name is Niklas. I'm an electrical systems engineer at Aptera. Hi, I'm Trisha. I'm the Hi, director Trisha. of electrical systems. Hey, We're Trish. Here at Aptera. Hello, everyone. My name is Juan. And Hi, Juan. great Juan, great mustache. You look <laughs> like a super villain. He looks exactly he like. Looks, no, Hanna Barbera. Who was the guy from Hanna Barbera? Looks cartoons. exactly like Jimmy Fallon as a super villain. He looks like a <laughs> super. But remember, <laughs> you know I'm right. You are. But <laughs> if you remove that mustache, this guy is a young Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. But also, great mustache. Yeah. Hi, Juan. I'm the wire harness engineer. Hi, my name is... You know, he... Okay. <laughs> also, yeah. um, uh, from from Princess Bride, like, I feel like someone killed his father. Hello. Prepare to die. My name is in the gold Because the mustache, mustache yeah. again. Okay. Uh-huh. Why are you wearing a beanie inside? Stop. And a hoodie. It's the time. And his eyes are closed. Yeah. Is my solo Esposito. I work in Aptera as an engineer. Rewind it, because I missed what his name is, and I said hi to everybody, and I... You we already talked to Trish. Me. We already talked to Juan. Hi, my name is Marcelo Esposito. Hi, Marcelo. I'm Aptera as an engineer doing research and development. Thank my name is Reed Thurber. I'm the lead solar engineer here at Aptera. We know him because he said in a Reed. previous video, mm-hmm. you're watching Drive the Lightning, the positively charged Thank EV you, channel. Thank you, Reed. You're one of our favorites. Yeah, he's the solar guy. Yeah. Yeah. So you can go through our catalog and you can see Reed another time. Mm-hmm. He was talking to uh, the Molnars, yeah. Jerry and Helen. Yep. 
who are our correspondents at times, and all around very good people. Indeed. Thank you, Reed. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Shrikant Chopra. Hi, Shrikant. I'm senior eating manager of Body and Closures. What's your name? <laughs> Having fun. Hello. <laughs> I want some of that skinny pop. I don't. I didn't catch his name. Hey, my name is Flo, and uh, I'm part Hi, of the Flo. editorial team. I work in the uh, engineering systems team. Hi, my name is Sonia, and I'm a member of the customer success. Look who's behind Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Who's behind Sonia? That's Quincy. That's Quincy. Hi, Quincy. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Quincy. This team. Our incredible people are hi Chris Anthony. Oh, makes hi Chris. So special. And there's one person I'd like to introduce you to today. Meet Tim Bond, leading up our battery efforts. Tim has years of experience designing and testing batteries at my other company, Flux Power. And he's here to ensure Aptera owners get the best battery pack possible. Hello, Aptera fans. I'm Tim. Hello, Tim. Hi, Tim. Vaughn, nice to meet you. I'm responsible for battery development here at Aptera Motors. This is the first time we're showing you our new production module that will go into the production <laughs> vehicles. Currently, we have modules being welded at a low... I kind of just got a chill right now when That's... you said our actual body uh, battery modules. That's awesome. Yeah. Also, um, you're my age and I have no hair and you have a bunch, Tim. That's not cool. Well, okay, not, all the, that's, yeah, that's the not that it's your fault, bro. That that's was the, the brakes. The vehicles. While most of these modules are being placed into vehicles, some are being pulled off for a variety of testing. This one, for example, will be going through an exhaustive vibration and shock test. This testing is to represent the vibration and shock that the Aptera vehicle will experience during its lifetime. And thanks to your continued support, all of us at Aptera are thrilled to see these modules finally coming into fruition. It's exciting to see so many systems being built in the real world after so many years of designing and production. True that. As a startup, it's important for us to keep seeking like-minded individuals around the world to bring Aptera's vision to life. Let's take a minute to hear from Steve and his recent trip to Driftex in Abu Dhabi. Okay, before Steve starts talking, Sarah, your favorite... Co-founder, co-CEO, is it Steve Anthony or Chris no. Anthony <laughs> or is it, wait a minute, that's interesting, Steve Anthony or Chris Fombro. No, is it Chris Anthony or Steve Fombro? Who's your favorite? Well, I only got a hug from one of them so far, so, so I have to go with Chris Anthony. Okay. So who's my favorite? Steve Fombro? No. Oh. Steve seems like a great guy for people who are really smart. Yeah, I think he knows we're not that smart. No, and I'm really down to earth. You and I both hate yep. salt of the earth people. Salt of the earth. I'm a <laughs> Okay. But uh, for some reason, Steve Fombro, every time he talks, I think he's talking smarter than me. Not that he's being condescending because he's not. He's he doesn't very, do it on purpose. He just no, is smarter just, than us. And they're both smart. Right, that's but true. They're both engineers, but Chris Anthony seems to have a way to talk to people like me mm -hmm. in a way that doesn't make me feel like I would feel if I was talking to Steve Fonbro. <laughs> <laughs> but they're both needed. No cause, judgment. Because we've no talked judgment. to we've talked to Chris Anthony about Steve and we've talked to Chris uh, M about Steve and they both say it's a it's I a think it's time we talk to Steve. Oh we talked to Steve. It all comes around circle. Oh, I'm busy that day. When did you say that's happening? I'll take care of it. Okay. Hey, Aptera fans. Steve. Hi. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hey, Steve, open your eyes. Steve here. Dream there you next. go. <laughs> We're wrapping up two uh, long, hot days here at Abu Dhabi. We've had lots of great meetings with our partners here, with uh, different government groups and, uh, and strategic partners. Now, they shouldn't get the wrong idea. We do think Steve Fambro is a fantastic individual. Yeah, of course. We don't know him. No. Okay. We need to interview him. I just don't want everybody to get the wrong idea. Then that we'll get to know that him we better. like one founder, not the other founder. We like them both. But they're both they're, they're co CEOs in our heart. Steve, we dare you to be interviewed on Drive the Lightning. Yeah, if you had any guts at all, Steve Fabro, you would get interviewed yeah, by us. In the most hard hitting, <laughs> the, most the most positive, the most positive EP. YouTube channel Experience in the you world. Can, you can imagine. <laughs> yeah, you can go to Abu Dhabi, but can you go yeah. and drive the lightning? Anybody can go to Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Anybody can do that. <laughs> Only very few people come on this channel <laughs> and are exposed to the kind of torturous questions we ask, like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to talk about? We had a chance to present Aptera. <laughs> Anything you want to promote, we're happy to help. 
<laughs> and uh, talk about some of our competitive advantages and how Sarah's technology accelerates oh, too much fun. implementation around the world. And uh, we really see that firsthand here in Abu Dhabi because the government is quite progressive in how they're thinking about bringing in these new technologies like Aptera and others. And it's interesting to see all of the different things that they have going on here firsthand. We're finishing up our last day in Abu Dhabi here at the Yas Marina Circuit. We've spent all day doing ride and drives with Aptera reservation holders. And that's Chris. That's Chris. That's Chris, Chris driving. McKenna. Yeah, Chris. McCammon. Right there. Yep. His mom subscribes to our channel. Hi, Chris. Hey, Stephen. Chris. Chris Anthony and Steve Favreau, do your mom's? Subscribe to Drive Lightning Lightning. because Chris M's mom does. Anyway, I just want to say, say it. I rode in Alpha with Chris M driving. As did I. Wait, there he is. That could be me. There he is. I mean, it's probably not because I wasn't in Abu Dhabi. Meetings that uh, we've been looking for for the past year or so. So it was a very positive day. I'm also happy to report that the vehicle performed flawlessly. There he is again. Even though it was hot for us uh, humans. Gamma did quite well without any hiccups whatsoever. Go Gamma. Uh, yeah, Gamma. Burned its way around the track in pretty fast speed. Uh, yeah, 40, burned, 45 miles an hour, I think I heard. But. Solar mobility really is for everyone. Okay, this 60. is probably... This said they tried to 60. keep it. This is probably important. Arab Emirates going forward. And I have some huge Here it is. news. Huge, huge news. Okay, huge news. Everybody heard Everybody that, Everybody sit right? down. I said stay to the end. This is why. If you haven't sat down, sit down. We paused this so you could sit. Sarah and I are going to probably be quiet. Down. Uh, thank you to the members of the channel. You keep the wheels turning on the positively charged EV channel. Thank you yes. to the mug club, which is defunct because of copyright infringement. No, we have new mugs new and mugs. also other items that will help us get to yeah. California. So and, the uh, mug plus club. Mug plus club, yeah. And Bob Newchow, first buyer of the new mug. Thank you, Bob. So supportive. Here we yes. go. The big news. Deliveries in 2025. We've enlisted U.S. capital to fund our production plan. Whoop. The money they raise would unlock a majority of our $21 million CEC grant. It will also unlock equipment financing opportunities to complete our factory build-out and start volume production. With U.S. capital enlisted to fund our production plan, we must put an end to Aptera's crowdfunding campaign. You heard that, right? Mm-hmm. An end is coming to crowdfunding. What does that mean? It means if you want to get in at the ground level... You're running out of time. You'll hear more in a minute. We are not authorized to give any investment advice. I'm not giving advice. any. I didn't give any advice. I, I know, just said but if. No. I'm no, no. But if I'm you not going say to jail. anything about any investment, no, you have to no, give no. the disclaimer. I disagree. We are not. There's no disclaimer needed because I didn't give any advice. Disclaimer. It is so late at night here. So on June 30th, our Regulation A offering will be closing. Will be. But that's the time you should invest before. No advice. Have. Don't should. <laughs> Don't say should. We'll be able to invest in Aptera before we bring into focus our production plan and IPO strategy. We will be doing one final investment webinar before the crowdfunding Ooh. campaign closes. This webinar will be on June 6th, going over production timelines and our forecasted capital raise. Save the date. The invitations will be sent out to all investors on June 1st. I want to personally thank you for being a part of our journey. You've been with. Thank you, Chris Anthony, for creating the journey. And you're welcome. And you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody in the comments, just say, you're welcome, Chris Anthony. Yes. Yeah. If you want to. I if don't you, care. Yeah. yeah. We appreciate it if you do. This mm-hmm. is the first Alpha Noir vehicle launch. Alpha Noir. Now, we got to lay in the back of... I did. You did. Lay in the back of Alpha Noir. With Rugen. Well, well Rugen's. Well, sort of. Yeah. Finally here. Ready to prove that when you believe in a better future for all... The impossible will become possible. It makes me incredibly proud of how far we've come and even more proud of the team who has taken us there. This is just the beginning. Till next month. Till next month, Chris Anthony. Thank you, my friend.